All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is 52HW6 centroids, and our goal is to find the coordinates of the centroid for each triangle. We'll do the first couple problems together, and then you're going to do the rest of the problems on your own here and complete the rest of the Google form. Now, I provided an extra copy, a hard copy during class, or I provided on the Google Classroom where you could print out the PDF and you could draw the lines yourself on a piece of paper and submit your answer that way via the Google form. Or you could just try highlighting the lines right on your computer screen. So number one, what we have here, we have a triangle, X, V, W, or W, X, V. And what we're going to do, we're trying to find a centroid. So what we do, we take a line, I'm going to make them all orange, and I'm going to draw a line going from that vertice or vertex of X. I'm going to go straight down and I'm going to break apart V, W perfectly in half. That's a median, like we've been discussing in class. We're going to put three medians in a triangle. Now, that's the center point between V and W. The center point between X and V is somewhere around here. I'm going to connect W to that point. Now this is all still estimates because I'm eyeballing things here. And in between X and W, looks around there is the halfway point. So I'm going to connect that halfway point to V. Where all three of these medians meet is right here. Three to the left, two down. So my answer for this particular problem is B, negative three, negative two. That is the centroid. Let's try another problem, problem number two. This time I'll do it in green. Z, we're gonna draw the median that touches with Z. So we look at Y, X. We find the middle between Y and X that looks like it's around here. So I put a dot there, and then I connect Z to that dot. And that's my median that goes with the Z. We do the same story for X. So we look between Y and Z. Somewhere in between, that looks like around here is halfway in between. So we connect that dot with the X. Then right here, between X and Z, that looks about halfway through, and then we draw a straight line between Y and that. And it looks like all three of these lines, they cross around the point, three to the right, four up. So our answer would be three, four. For number two. Number three. Let's do them in orange again. So halfway between P and R looks like it's around here. So P, R to Q. That's my one median. P to around here. Q, R is my other median. A median. And then R to around there is also the middle between Q and P. Is that point right there. So it looks like the median or the centroid in this one is 2 to the right, 0 up, down. So the answer is 2, 0. So number 3 is A. Let's try number 4. The median that goes with G looks around, that's around the middle point between F and E. So I'm going to draw a line between those two. The median that goes with F, that looks around the center point between G and E. So I drew that median. And E, well, between F and G, that looks like around the center point, and it all makes a connection around there at 2, negative 1. So the centroid for number 4 is positive 2, negative 1. All right, ladies and gents, that's 1 through 4. Well, your job is to finish off the rest of the problems. If you have any questions, please come next up. I'll be happy to help you out. All right, have a good night.